Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for coming and joining me today. I'm a little bit stuffy right now. I feel like I'm getting allergies. I don't know, I just like woke up this morning, my throat was hurting and um, as you can tell, my voice is a little different, my nose is stuffy, I don't know. So, it's just been, you know, a great, uh, first day back at school, which, speaking of, today was the first day of my senior year. So, yeah, I have some things that I want to talk to you guys about. I have 10 little tips here that I want to give out to freshmen, maybe even sophomores, as they are starting out in college. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you are not subscribed yet, don't forget to click the little subscription button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. I'll try my best to keep my sniffles to a minimum, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Okay, I have my booklet. I wrote everything out um, because I wanted to get my thoughts out the way that I wanted to actually portray them in the video. So I wrote them all out and I will read them off for you guys. So my first tip for you guys is to choose a major that you are interested in, but also that has opportunities for you to be able to grow and become successful within that career choice or industry. If you don't enjoy your major, you will slack off and you'll want to tend to put your social life first. So I feel like choosing something that you actually enjoy is really important. Also, you don't want to get like burnt out and then end up like dropping out of classes frequently or withdrawing or anything like that. Um, if you're really serious about getting a degree, then you definitely want to find something that you are passionate about or that you at least somewhat enjoy and you could see yourself being, you know, happy, genuinely happy in the future doing something within that field. My number two is to save money. For all of the people that know me personally, I am absolutely horrible at saving money, but I have learned this over I mean, throughout my college years, as much as going out and being involved are really good college experiences. Saving money towards helping you pay for college. I wish that I would have saved money because you definitely don't want to end up in like $30,000 in debt or more. Save money to help you pay for either just your books or, you know, rent or um, like food or whatever. Just like some money that can put you a little bit ahead so that you're not in like a crazy amount of loans at the end of it. Um, I personally only took out loans for tuition, but I know some people also take out loans for living and food, etc., um, and gas and stuff like that, so that they can not work and just be a student, which is totally cool too, but if you have a way to be able to save money, I would definitely, definitely do that. So my third one is if you work, don't forget to enjoy college itself. Um, I have worked since I was 16. It's good to put work as something important, but don't forget that you also have the rest of your life to work. So if you have the option to go out with your friends or pick up a shift, unless you really absolutely need that money or need to save that money, you know what? You need to like have you need to enjoy the experiences that you're given in college or the opportunity um, of experiences that you probably won't have whenever you graduate. I definitely regret this during my years in college. I wish that I would have said yes more than said no because now looking back, I can't get that time back. I really wish that I would have taken more initiative to take the, the fun and enjoyable opportunities that I had. I think it's all about balance too. I think having a work and school life is extremely important, but I also think having a social life just for your mental um, like well-being is definitely something that everyone needs to be able to like be a happy individual and not always having to focus on the hard stuff, but being able to just kind of let loose and like, you know, do things that make you happy. Number four is try to remember that no one cares who you were or what you did in high school. For me, I personally go to a university that a lot of 
people from my high school went to but first of all I literally never see them unless I like go out of my way to like actually try to see them I think college is a new beginning to be able to branch out and expand your network like you should be growing you should be evolving you should be changing into a different person I'm a completely different person than I was in high school and I'm really thankful for that number five not all boys suck you just have to be super selective and know your worth. I think a lot of... Okay, sorry guys. I really had to take an intermission because Bryson just got back home. He got pizza. And um, I was really, really hungry. I was literally starving, so... Just a pause. Let me eat my food real quick. PRB. All right, my dinner has been partaken. And it's hilarious because the next number on my list, you're probably going to laugh at me. Um, but, <coughs> uh, but number six is try to work out as much as possible. Um, whether that's a sport, cardio, weight training, boxing, Swimming, I mean swimming is a sport, but you, you know what I mean. Boxing is a sport too. It releases endorphins and it helps not only your physical health, but like your mental health. Drinking a lot of water and working out are two huge things that I know make me feel better. And I, I'm not always the best at, you know, sticking to that. But like the older you get, the more you need to like really focus on like fueling your body with like good things and like keeping your muscles moving and uh, strong I think that is super important my number seven never let people convince you to go out whenever all you want to do is your hobby or what you're passionate about or you know if you really 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 just want the night in because you've been going out a lot and you just really want the night in and you just want to eat pizza lay in bed watch movies you know like if you know you're going to be miserable going out, just don't go out because you feel like that's what has to happen because you're like just now starting out in the college scene and it's going to make you feel cool and yeah, whatever. Because like at that point, like you still have like, you know, three, three and a half, the full four years, whatever to, uh, to go out and have fun and stuff. So like, if you really want to stay stay in stay in because if you do go out what if you're like super exhausted and you know you're just tired and all you want to do is just lay in bed in your pajamas that's totally cool number eight is be open to new ideas and keep an open mind with what you want to do with your life so i am in my senior year and i have a couple of things in mind which i'll probably talk more about in my next video that i want to do but um the thing is, ultimately, life doesn't always go as planned. Like, I didn't think I would get an internship this past summer like I did. If there's a good opportunity that you see, that you think that you'll enjoy, that can help you be successful the ways that you want to be successful, then you should go for it. Even if it's maybe not on, on route, you can still focus on, you know, what you want to accomplish down the road. But I think keeping an open mind to opportunities that arise are definitely definitely really good number nine is make time for your family it is so easy to get caught up with work and school I know this very very well but your parents love you and your siblings miss you so try to go visit or call them if you can um, as much as possible this is something that I am working on I think like we really need to remember that you know we don't last forever and you never know when someone can be taken away from you so and i'm not trying to say that in a, like you know to bring up any sadness or anything i'm just saying like they really care about you and and they want to see you so just don't don't forget about them give frequent calls frequent text messages honestly i would say call more because people really want to hear your voice so yeah and even try to make like if it's possible, if you only live a couple hours away, try to like at least see them every month. You make time for things that are important to you. So if your family is important to you, you will make time for them. Number 10 is adulting is harder than it looks. 
college may seem like all fun and games but it's a lot of hard work and if you want to get the degree that you're trying to obtain I definitely think it's really important to try to get your priorities straight and try to get organized I think organization is a huge thing I'm like still growing in organization I stay really organized with school but in my personal life I'm not exactly the most organized as in like my car if you know me, you know my car is always a disaster. I just always have so many clothes in my car. But like, I think organization and being able to prioritize things that need to be done and that are important. Oh yeah, I guess I can tie this in. A couple little random extra things. Waking up earlier than you think so that you don't have to rush because rushing is not fun. Okay, don't take 8 a.m.s. <laughs> don't do it. I have never done it, but I took a 9 a.m. and um, it was absolutely awful. Um, even if you wake up early, I just still don't recommend it. Unless you absolutely have to for like work purposes or you really just enjoy waking up at 7 every day and it works out perfect for you. Most, um, you know, juniors and seniors will tell you literally like don't take an early morning class because you will just be so tired and you will yawn the whole time and you'll probably skip a lot, so. So that's all that I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want something similar to this, don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I kind of like these sit-down videos. I definitely like vlogging more personally because I feel like I'm a little like... I'm, I'm way more serious for sure when it comes to the sit-down videos than vlogging. But yeah, um, that's really all I have to say. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I will see you guys on Thursday. Peace.